people out there, Kevin from CC5 here, where we focus on productivity and pipeline for creatives. And in this video, we'll be looking at a new feature in InDesign. We can now generate AI images right in the app. But to be fair, this is only new for InDesign since Photoshop has had this feature for quite a while now. But I can see it being quite useful when making, for example, drafts and you don't have all the proper assets just yet. Anyway, this is how to do it. One way is to use the contextual taskbar that they now added to InDesign as well. So to turn it on, you go to window and then click on it here. Then it will turn up when selecting a graphics frame. Here you can see it says text to image beta and click here and we can write a prompt. And I'm not a big fan of the bar really, uh, but there's also a panel under window and then text to image beta. So let's give that a try. Uh, I'll type in a prompt over here, coffee splash, and you can decide whether you want a photo or art, i.e. more like illustration, and what dimension it should be. And if you have a pre-made frame, you can choose frame dimensions, which is quite nice. Now we can click generate and see what we get. So there we go. Just like in Photoshop, we get three variations and we can switch between them by clicking on them here or we can also use the context bar. Uh, we could, of course, also generate again to get more variations. And uh, this now seemingly works just like a normal image frame, but there is one more thing that it can do. And once again, that's kind of borrowed from Photoshop. If I resize this frame now to a different dimension, we can now choose in the dropdown over here, generative expand. So click generate and it will try and extend your image for you to fit the new frame. Once again, we get three options that we can toggle between. This will work on regular images as well. So here I have a photo with a clear background. Let's say I wanted to cover the entire page, but want some clear space for the text to the right. So then I'll just extend the frame and click Generative Expand. And there we go. Lastly, from what I can tell, these images aren't saved anywhere yet. So if you copy the path from the links panel, it says this which would kind of lead me to believe it's saved in some kind of cloud. But I did open a file with no internet connection and there seemed to be no issues with the link. So maybe it's also embedded in the document, which is kind of a shame because that's not usually how we work with InDesign. But if you want them as files, if we package the document, the images will be saved as JPEGs. And that is pretty much it. Hope you find it helpful and if not at least interesting. That's it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video right here on CC Pipe.